Traders, this video is going to be diving into the triangle drawing tool on TradingView. And the point of this video is to ensure that you know there is a tool specifically for drawing triangles on TradingView. And keep in mind that there is the geometric shape triangle tool. So if you bring your mouse right here to where it says geometric shapes, you click, the menu expands, you're going to find triangle down here. So you can then click that tool. Now we've got it selected. And what we can do is click to get our starting point, move our mouse to a specific ending point and click again. Now we've placed the two points on the chart and we have one more point to place. After all, triangle, three points. We're going to want to place that where we think this triangle pattern makes the most sense. Now, I'm just going to click in sort of arbitrary spot here, and I just want to click there so that you see this triangle take shape. Now, here's the very important feature that you need to know about when using the triangle drawing tool. You may be drawing ascending triangles. You may be drawing descending triangles, maybe symmetrical triangles or potentially just another triangle out there in the world of technical analysis. But just because you drew it does not mean it's stuck there forever. In fact, you can move it around. I'm clicking, I'm holding. Now with holding my mouse click down, I can drag this triangle anywhere on the chart and I can let go and place it right back to where it was or at another point on the chart. But it's more important than that because each of these points on the triangle can also be updated. So if you don't draw your triangle correctly the first time, you can move the three points on the triangle to fit on the chart so that it looks to your exact specifications and shows you the move that you wanted to see on the chart at that time when you drew it. Now, this is not the default color as well of this triangle tool. I have already, before recording this video, double clicked into it and customized its look and feel. Now, I'm going to change the border even more on this specific video because I effectively just don't want you to miss it. I'm also going to make the background a little bit darker here so it stands out on the chart greatly. And now you just cannot miss the triangle drawing tool that we are illustrating in this tutorial video. Now, there's a few ways to use triangles as well, because you could go back in time as I'm doing, and you could draw your specific triangles. You could look for specific price action moves that sort of matched that triangle pattern. So let's see this point here. You might say that there was sort of this ascending triangle going on here, and it broke to the downside. You can go back very easily and draw triangles. And remember, you can copy and paste as many triangles as you wish on your specific chart. Maybe there's a pattern that you just see over and over and over again on a chart. You can draw those triangles multiple times on the chart, move them around at specific points and get a feel for what happened. In fact, just by looking at this chart, kind of interesting. If you sort of had a method to draw in your ascending triangles in this example, this is just three ascending triangles, few potentially have been missed. But the point is, is that in each of these insta instances, actually price seemed to have continued lower after those ascending triangles. So if you're on the hunt for an ascending triangle, well, you could go back on the chart, take a look, see if it happened or worked out in a similar way before. So this is one way to draw ascending triangles. Remember, this is not a specific science, you have the control and freedom to make any triangle that you wish with these specific points that you can adjust to create the tri triangle of your exact liking. Now, it's important that we go in a little bit deeper here because there also is the triangle pattern tool. Now, if you are someone who is utilizing other forms of technical analysis theory, whether it's Elliott Wave or something entirely different, the Triangle Pattern Tool is another way for you to draw triangles on TradingView and accomplish what it is that you're trying to accomplish in the world of technical analysis. Now, when I click the Triangle Pattern Tool, as you'll see here, it is going to follow a very similar process as the other Triangle Tool except for the fact that you are drawing a sequence of events before your triangle is completed. And you can see that sequence of events with the A line that we clicked, the B line that we clicked, 
and then you have C and D. So really with this triangle tool, you're going A to B, B to C, C to D, and drawing your triangle accordingly. Now there's a few nice things about this tool because it will actually help you draw ascending and descending triangles in a rather unique way. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, for example, if we open up this triangle pattern tool and we go A here, then B here, and then say we do C here. Well, if you're trying to draw a triangle now, see the A, the B, the C is trending upward, meaning the C is higher than the A, implying that you're already on your way to sort of drawing this ascending triangle. If you try to now suddenly make this a descending triangle, it's actually not going to work. Now, this is kind of nice because it, it keeps you focused on the theory and the rules behind these specific technical drawings in the first place. So click again. And as you can see, it's ascending, right? It's kind of going upward, it's trending upward. Whereas descending, then the opposite is true. A here, B here, and then C goes lower. You can see here, if we go up and above that B, it's just simply not going to work into the future. So this, this D line has to stay below that B for this triangle to really get completed. And with that, you can more so get a descending triangle move. Now, of course, you have this sort of triangle out here at the edge, but this is where if you're into crab patterns or harmonics, this is where this tool comes into hand, hand. But the point of showing you this in the first place is that there is another triangle pattern tool, especially if you're interested in things like harmonics, Elliott wave, and other forms of technical analysis. Now, while that is the triangle drawing tools on TradingView, there is one that we do have to say as well, because this one is always utilized. And that is the simple fact that if you go to the trend line tool, you can click the trend line tool and you can just really make your own triangle as needed. So if you are looking to create a triangle, then you effectively can also utilize the, let's just turn off these um, stats except for angle here because we're making a triangle. At, oh, let's actually take them all off. You can connect your trend line tools to make a triangle as needed. So here, say for example, this is, you know, if you drew a sort of a, a ascending line here, then you have this flat line here, and then you kind of have this, this connecting point. In a way, you are once again drawing a, drawing a triangle of sorts. It's just that you hand drew this. It didn't follow an exact drawing tool. Now, there is even another way that you can draw triangles on TradingView as well. And this is the fact that if you wish to really go deep here, and what you're going to look for in this specific part of the video is you're going to look for your flat top and flat bottom drawing tools. So down here in the channels, you have flat top bottom, and you even have disjoint channel as well. We're just going to focus on the flat top bottom. Well, the flat top bottom can actually be constructed in a way to where you can draw some pretty nice triangles. So check that out, just like that. The reason why this flat, bot, flat top bottom tool is an effective tool for this is that you click it, you have a starting point, which is your trend line. So it was going down, click again, and now you have this flat line that you can then click again as well. And as you have probably seen before in the world of technical analysis, right, you might get some price action trending down and then it just breaks, breaks that line. And that's why these patterns, after all, got sort of created in the first place. But you have that ability as well. Now, naturally, with this tool, there is not a third point, right? So you just have to visualize that there is a point here like this if you're looking to draw that triangle, but you also could just keep it as such. But the point is that you have tons of different ways to draw triangles on TradingView. And this video introduced you to all of them. We're familiar with how many people like to draw symmetrical triangles, wedges, ascending triangles, descending triangles. And by the time now that you finished this video, 
you now know all the different ways to draw these triangles, the customizations available to you, and the specific drawing menu items to click into. So thanks so much for watching this video, and we look forward to seeing what type of triangle drawing tools you utilize most in your journey drawing and creating these triangles on the chart in front of you. Thanks for watching.